which are the signals and how do we cal qualify these signals. In this trading system that is apparently a mess, once we, we understand how the uh, components are constructed the, and what they mean, uh, the whole picture becomes a little bit uh, clearer. And talking about the signals, uh, the main signal that is used is a Tenkan cross. It is called the Tenkan cross because we are looking for the Tenkan Sen to cross the Kijun Sen line, either from the down uh, side to the upside or the other way from the upside to the downside. Once we have such a cross between the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen, uh, we have a signal. Now, because that signal can occur uh, on uh, the chart in uh, different zones, we must uh, use the, the other elements to define those zones and uh, eventually help us qualify if that signal is worth considering or how strong or weak it is. To define the zones on the chart, we are looking at the formations known as Kumo clouds. If the clouds, the cloud is uh, uh, bullish, it is going up, then uh, what is above it, it is a market that is trending up. If the cloud is uh, bearish, then what is below that cloud is a market that uh, it uh, it is mostly bearish like it is the case here and talking uh, getting back and talking about the tenkan cross about the cross of the tenkan sen over the kijun sen line we are looking at when that cross happens and in which territory that cross is happening. In this example, we have here a cross up, so the Tinkan Sen goes from down below upwards and crosses the Kijun Sen. Where does that, uh, that cross happen? Below the cloud. In this case, be because it is below the cloud, in the bearish territory, a bullish signal in a bearish ter territory is a weak signal. If that cross would happen, like for example, here, again from the downside to the upside, Tenkan Sen goes up and Kijun Sen goes flat, the cross happens inside the cloud, which is a median strength signal, it is neither bullish nor bearish, and it must be qualified and used as, uh, in cons as consequence. Let's look for another example. In this case, we have a Tenkan cross to the upside. Tenkan Sen crosses up. Kijun Sen goes horizontally and then moves up also. This cross in this particular case, because it, ha it happened above the cloud, it is in bullish territory and a bullish cross is a strong signal and as qu consequence or maybe because uh, of it uh, uh, we see the future price confirms uh, that that cross even if the cross happened on this candle the market is mostly bullish because the cross happened already in a bullish market to see more please subscribe give us a thumb up and share our clips